family without a home gets a second chance thanks to a Harris County Sheriff's Lieutenant. Samantha Patashkin shows us how we got some help giving the family a better life. It says me and my family are homeless. It's a flimsy sign, a call for help. Words Dijon Granny hopes he never has to utter again. It just seemed like all hope was gone, you know. <laughs> With one baby girl, two others under age five, and a wife, Dijon was losing hope after losing his job and living on the streets. You know, we was roaming the streets of Houston, you know, with all our stuff in a basket and in a stroller, you know, and the kids carrying what they could. But just before Christmas, Lieutenant Robert Henry swooped in. It seemed like this family was just special. Lieutenant Henry is with the Harris County Sheriff's Office homeless outreach team. After meeting Dijon's family, he helped put them up at the Salvation Army. And that was just the beginning. My girlfriend and I uh, went uh, to the location and decided we were going to buy Christmas gifts for them. After the Christmas gifts, one of Lieutenant Henry's neighbors heard about the family and decided to find them an apartment. He also paid the first three months of rent and furnished it. This is unbelievable. This looks brand new. It, it pretty much is brand new. I mean, it's nice. I didn't think that we was going to get any of this. <laughs> Now the girls have a place to call home. Dijon has also made progress, now working two jobs. It's a very humbling feeling to be able to have the privilege to help them. It's a second chance for this struggling family who just needed a little help to get back on their feet. You know, we together, we're happy. You know, I'm going to work. I'm going to stay going to work. We're not going to go back homeless again. Samantha Patashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News. There's an estimated 4,500 homeless people across Harris County on any given night. Since it started in November, the Harris County Sheriff's Homeless Outreach Program has helped more than 200 people, whether that's by providing temporary housing or basic needs.